Okay, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this new Kodak EasyShare M530 that I just bought at Office Depot. Um, comes in this really nice box. There's a bunch of pictures of the different cameras. This one is red, evident orange, charcoal gray, red, and green. But I only got red, that's all they had actually. And, uh... So let's get into it. Um, I have not opened this up yet, so it should all be packed up nice. Okay, you open that, pull this out here, and this is what's in there. On top, user manual. USB port for charging the camera. Wall plug-in to charge the camera through the wall. Uh, wrist strap. Battery. And the camera itself is right here. So I'm gonna get that set up and then I'll show you after the box now. Um, to tell you before I do anything else, uh, this video is being recorded on the Kodak Mini video camera. Um, it's a cheap video camera so the quality is not going to be too great on it. But uh, you get the general idea so I'll do as good as I can. So this is what it looks like, it has a protector on the screen, that's nice. Um, buttons, garbage, something else, something else, and playback, and the share button, the arrows, and the OK button, zoom, on off button, uh, choose between video and stills, and flash button, picture button, and uh, I'm not sure if this camera does macro but there's not a specified button okay if you can see this on this cheap little camera right here uh, it looks like it has pretty good quality so looking over it it looks pretty nice it's small it has a rechargeable lip, lip, sorry, lithium ion battery has a standard tripod mount there the door is simple just uh open it like that, the battery clicks into place there um, has these protective stickers over the codec symbol the lens perimeter and the screen uh, there's the USB outlet um, wrist strap can go right there three times optical zoom and let's turn it on Let's um, zoom in and try and take a picture. Well, I'll just post a picture at the end of this video once I get. I have a self timer, so if you want to take a self portrait um, picture by yourself, and you need to go somewhere in the room for it, what you do is press that button, go down to self timer. Uh, off, two shot, ten seconds, two seconds, burst, um, let's click on two shot, and then hit OK, hit the, hit the, um, picture button, hit it again, and it'll start, it gives you two seconds to go get set up. and then takes a picture and it's going to take another one since I set it on double or two picture whatever it was and um, now it's done and we have two pictures picture quality is nothing great actually it's pretty good for a little point and shoot camera at least it looks on here 
this LCD screen's a nice one. Uh, I'm sure when I get it on the computer, it'll look even better. And to delete them, it's really easy. Let's check out some other features. And, uh, yeah, so. I'm gonna switch over to this camera and, uh, just show you some of that. Yeah, this is what the camera looks like. It still has all the protective tags on it, as you can see. And, uh, it's a nice looking camera. It's fairly small. Um, it's good for uploading the Flickr, YouTube, and Facebook, and, uh, places like that, since it has the share button which um, makes it a lot easier to use. This is a pretty easy camera to use, so that is why I got it from my mom, since she doesn't know much about any technical stuff. So, uh, I'm pretty sure she'll get this one easily. It's pretty much point and shoot, just like what it's called. Point and hit a button, and it takes a picture. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit about this camera. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me in the comments and I uh, hope you like this video and um, comment rate and subscribe and thanks for watching bye